Next question I'm going to look at on our LinkedIn mini course here, Javelin, is how do I know how often I should be posting, Paul? Because if I post more than once a week, I'm spamming people, right? It's not about how often you post, a little bit. It's more about what you're posting, right? Spammy messages, spammy content is stuff that just basically advertises your services all the damn time. Now, first up, you should absolutely be creating content that does tell people what you do, how you do it, why you do it, and how much it is, if you can, as much of that as you can. Should absolutely create that, but then sprinkle that in over the top of your regular content and do it sparingly, right? Because people largely don't care. They want to take that information in and store it because one day I might need that. But actually what you want to do is create a loyal following from those people that you would like to have as customers. And you do that by creating awareness, helping them solve the problems and challenges that they have in their personal or professional life, and then telling them how they can go and fix those things. Right? That's largely what this is all about. Sharing your knowledge and your experience sharing your mistakes, being transparent with them about the things that you've struggled with, that you've now solved for, that you can help them with without charging them a penny, right? Here's some thoughts, here's some polarizing opinions maybe, all those sorts of things. So what I'd say is when clients come to me, uh, they generally just want to go for once a week. Honestly, it's not enough. You're not going to create a habit out of that. It's not going to do enough. Um, it's not going to make a big enough impact on, on LinkedIn, it's not going to make them familiar with you. For every post that you put out, probably 10% of your network see it. So that means you've got to post the same message in 10 different ways, 10 separate occasions for your entire network to have likely seen that same message. So what I advocate for is three times a week, three times a week minimum, right? And that's a starting point. I post seven times a week, more, probably more, right? Not all the same sort of content. There's very much a different split. You know, some days I post out testimonials from previous clients. Some days I'm posting promotional things. Some days I'm posting up about the Market Pulse Pros and Pioneers podcast. Um, and sometimes I'm promoting ideas like this and courses and, and helping people with, with the, the video content. Three times a week. Why three times? Because there are three key periods in the week, right? There are, there are, I've done my Monday inbox and I am relaxed for the week. Now that I'm safe to do so, I will browse LinkedIn, what's on there. That's where you want to catch some people. For others, it is tomorrow's the weekend. I can't really be bothered. How can I pass the time this afternoon by procrastinating, right? And I'm going to browse LinkedIn and find some interesting content on there. Because actually, I've done my work for the week, and my brain's a bit bored, and I want to get some inspiration. Great time to be reaching them. Or actually, tomorrow, I start the new week. I'm going to do my to-do list. I'm going to have a look on LinkedIn and see who's active and who's out there. Those are the three times a week that you really need to reach your audience as a minimum. And by posting three times a week, it creates a habit for you to be posting. If you're just doing it once a week, you're not creating a habit. You'll do it once a week at the beginning of the week, uh, if you're lucky, and eventually you'll get out the habit of doing that. You'll stop doing it again. Three times a week causes you to have to have a strategy, a plan, and be intentional about what you're creating content about. When you do that, you create a habit. You get into the routine of doing it. You will find enjoyment from it. Honestly, you will eventually. And you will start to add real value. People will start to become aware of you, and you will have some good conversations as a result. Give it a try. Make it, you know, do it for a month. Let's start this Monday coming. Try it for three times a week for the whole month. Let me know how you get on. What are your results? What are your conversations you've had? Have you had good conversations at the end of that month? Guarantee you will. But please try and do it. Because if you're stuck in a rut and you're wondering how to drive business through LinkedIn, that is the key way of doing it, right? Is, is conversations in a public forum by posts, conversations privately by direct message. They're the two things you need to be doing side by side to create revenue for your, for your business on LinkedIn. Give me a follow, give me a subscribe.